Okay. This exercise can be done with single extrude. If you draw, draw this shape, uh, you will have this surface here. And you'll have these two surfaces here that can be extruded up, up till there. And this whole surface that you see that goes from this distance to there, from that point to there, is that flat surface of a height of 30. But however, I want to show you the double extrude exercise. Uh, you will decide in the test what type of extrusion will work best for you. It's very important. Okay? But in this case, I can see that the single extrude will work better, but I'll be going for a double extrude. So let's go and look at what's happening in Inventor. Let's take this away and uh, open up a new. I want to sketch on my plane the usual stuff and let's start to draw. I'm going to start with a rectangle. Rectangle number one and I'm going to put in the dimensions 13 high and we're having a length of 154. Let's click to bring it back into perspective. And on top of that, we're going to have another length uh, on here. So I'm going to take another rectangle, put it on there. And I know that the height of the rectangle from there to there is 53. Enter. Okay. I also know that the distance from this point to there, if we go back to the drawing, is 32, which is the distance there for the inclined surface. The flat distance from the top is 32, plus a radius of 38 from that point to there, which will give you altogether a distance of 70. So I'm going to just draw that and put in 70. Okay. And the distance from this point that way is also a radius of 48. There's the 48 radius from there to there. It's 48. So I'm typing it in. Enter. Right now we have the height, we have the width, and we have the positioning. Okay. I also know that we need to draw a line from the corner there outwards to that point and I'm going to trim off one and two it doesn't want to trim just escape and click delete on it uh, and then press delete make sure you put back your dimensions because your drawing is going to jump all over the place it's very very important if your dimensions is not in your drawing is not constrained we need a dimension there as well. And our dimension there is 3, 8. It's a radius of 38. This needs to be parallel with that. So uh, I'm going to go to my constraints. If these things jump around, you need to constrain it and make sure it's constrained properly. Okay, there we go. So these two lines are now parallel. Okay, now when you double extrude, you have to draw your hidden detail lines as solid lines. That's my first one. Okay, we have those lines and then we have another line here. Okay, we need to look at these distances, which is very, very, very important. Okay, the distance from that point to there, let's go look at a drawing. Looking at the distance from there to there, we're having a 48. This radius there is 25. So 48, 48 minus 25 will give you 23. So that's 23. So let's go back to our drawing and put in a distance of 23 there. Enter. 
we need to determine these distances there. Going back there, we can see that 38 minus 25 will give you a distance of 13. So that is 13 millimeters. So again, okay, going to put it in there. Okay, so that's 13. Enter. Right, the whole size here is 18 millimeters. It's all in elongated. It's 18 millimeters of length. But I need to know what's the distance from this edge from there to there. Back to the drawing. Got 18 millimeters and we have that distance there. We having a radius from this point to there is 20. We also do have a radius there is 9. You guys can see from that point to there it's 9. Because that's 18 so the radius is 9. So that what is 11. Typing in 11. Enter. And we are ready for double extrude. Right. First things first. If we extrude I'm going to do the base. I'm selecting the whole of the base because I can cut into it as well. I'm going to go double. Let's just see it like that. And our total width there is 96. Based on this dimension there, 48 plus 48 radius. Okay, so that's 96. And we say OK. Let's go to the browser bra, right click, share sketch. And then we're going to double extrude again. If we extrude, I'm going to go to that part there. And I'm going to double it up. And I know that the total length there of this hole is a radius of 9, which is 9, plus 9, plus 56 which will give you 65. Okay, so 56 plus 9 plus 9, sorry, that's 18 plus 56 will give you 66, will give you 74. 74. So I'm going to extrude to a distance of 74. And we need it as a cut. If we extrude as well, Doing the total, double, the width that we have there is 38 times 2, which is 76. It's a total width of 76, okay. Let's do another E for extrude. And I'm going to go back for that very shape there. And... Let me just make sure I'm doing the, the right thing here. Okay, let's do the double extrude. Double. And the inside radius is 50. So the distance will be 5, 0. And I'm going to cut on it. I, I need to first check here let's first check here if we extrude uh, that's the hole we're looking at that hole there double click cut and okay that's what the hole looks like there okay now we're gonna go and just fill it all the way I know that this hole needs to go right through it can be done afterwards as well or now let's say if we extrude let's see if we can look at the bottom that piece there that's the part that will take away the bottom. Double extrude. And the distance there is 50 and we're going to cut it. Yeah, we need to add that extrusion there. Okay, cut. We haven't fully extruded this one. So I'm going back to extrusion 1. Double click on extrusion 1. And select, reselect your profile. That's the profile. Needs to be included into it that length. I haven't clicked on that piece in front, so I'm going to say OK. And there we go. Now I'm going to fill it all the way. I'm going to go to fill it. My first fill it here 
on the inside is a fillet of 25 radius. The radius here should be 25. I'm going to type in 25. Right. I know that that part there, let me just orient it properly. I know that part there is 25 and 25. Right. And I know that the inside needs to be 25 as well and 25 as well there. And I'm going to say apply. The next fillet is the fillet on the outside, which is 48 radius. It's that point, and then that one, and apply. The fillet at the back is 20 millimeters radius. One, and two, and apply. The fillet here on the inside is nine millimeters radius. I'm going to click all of them. One, two, three, and four, and apply. And then we have these on the outside, which is radius of 38. And apply. Okay, let's go give it a color. That's okay. I'm saving it and I'm going to call it P3 double extrude. Thank you very much. Please attempt all double extrude exercises and uh, we will be looking at single extrude in due time. Thank you very much.